Hey guys, welcome back to One Tail Four Paws. Today we're here with our kitty cat Midnight to answer the ever common question of where do you keep the litter box in an RV? Midnight's been with us since we started full timing just over a year ago, and he even went camping with us a few times before that. So we've really been able to decide on where is the best place for the litter box. There was a couple things that we had to consider when deciding on the best place for the litter box. The first thing is making sure the cat would use it. If it was somewhere so obscure that he wouldn't use it, obviously it would defeat the purpose. The second thing was making sure it was somewhere that we could access it really easily. Kitty litter boxes should be scooped at least once a day, so we wanted to make sure we weren't having to struggle to get to the litter box. The third thing that we were considering is finding a spot that was still out of our way. Our travel trailer doesn't have any slides, which means there's not a lot of space for walking around. So something that would be right in the aisle way definitely wasn't going to work for us. Today we're going to share two options on what we feel is the best places to put the litter box. All right, back here in our bedroom, our bed, just like a lot of beds, has the under the bed storage at the foot of the bed. So I'm just going to lift that real quick. Now, if you are gonna use your under the bed storage for something like keeping a litter box where you have to get into it pretty easily and often, I definitely recommend you using these like lift kit things. It makes it so much easier. I can lift it with one hand, no problem, and it stays open. So after opening the bed, you can see our under the bed storage. The first thing we had to do here was install this panel here. Our under the bed storage area, which is this area all here, actually connected to our outside pass-through storage. So if we didn't put this panel up, the cat could actually come and go and get into all that storage that's meant for the outside storage. We didn't want that, so we just cut a piece of paneling to size and put that there. Now, the cat obviously had to be able to come and go, so we had three choices. The panel that's along this side here, the left panel, and the right panel. We originally went with this panel because it was kind of out of the way and you really couldn't see the hole from the rest of the RV so we felt it would be a little more private for the cat. So we put it on this side. You could just cut a hole straight in the paneling that's there. We took that panel off and then bought a new piece of wood, cut it to size and put the hole in that piece of wood. We did that because if we ever planned on not using this, as the cat litter box area, we wanted to be able to put the original paneling back. Now you can also see that we have this weird contraption here. This is actually a piece of an old cage we had, and it's just part of the door. The reason we had to install this is because we have ferrets that free roam almost all the time. When the ferrets free roam, they can also get into the hole. We made the hole small enough so the dogs can't get into it and get to the litter box, but however, obviously our ferrets are smaller than the cat. And they really liked coming in here and playing in the cat's litter box, which was not very sanitary. So we put this here and just like so, it is now sealed. Now, it's kind of a pain in the butt because we had to go back and forth between letting the cat use its litter box and protecting it from the ferrets. So obviously this isn't necessary unless you have a smaller animal or something that's gonna be getting into the cat's litter box and it is somewhat of a pain to have to constantly open and close that all day long. Now, the next thing you'll notice is the light. We didn't want the cat having to go to the bathroom in the dark, so we have a little motion sensor light down there that when the cat comes in, the light turns on, he can use the bathroom, and then shortly after he leaves, when there's no motion for a little while, it turns back off. But this way, he doesn't have to use the bathroom in the dark. All right, so that first example with the kitty litter box in the under the bed storage, to me, that is the most perfect place. It's out of the way, the cat could still get to it, and it was still really easy for me to get to to scoop the litter. However, two reasons made us change to where we put it. The first one I kind of already explained is the ferrets. So we have ferrets who are almost always free roam, and it was really getting to be a pain to have to open the gate and shut the gate, and open the gate and shut the gate. Now, if you don't have any reason to keep anything out of the litter box, there's no reason for it to be a pain. You can just have the hole and it not be a worry. The second reason we ended up changing where our litter box is is because this old man, he went blind. So if you could tell in the video, he's not happy. <laughs> he has lost all his eyesight though. So he is completely blind. And about the time he went blind, he started having accidents not in the litter box. So we realized he was having some trouble navigating trying to get to the litter box now that he couldn't see anymore. So we wanted to put it somewhere a little easier to get to. 
He normally didn't spend a lot of time in the bedroom, so he was usually in the other part of the RV. So for him to have to navigate all the way from the other part of our RV, all the way to the back bedroom and then get in that hole was obviously becoming too much for this old blind man. Because of that, we moved it to the second spot that we are now gonna go over. One of the most commonly recommended places to keep your cat litter box in your RV is in your bathtub or shower. So we actually have a bathtub with our shower, so we just keep it inside the tub there now. So some of the reasons it works out nicely in here is one, it's out of the way, so now you're not taking up any of your floor space in your RV. Two, if there is any mess, it's gonna be combined in the tub. Now, we still use the pine pellets, which don't really make a mess like normal litter. If you're keeping it in your bathtub and you're using normal litter, you're definitely gonna put mats down because you do not wanna get litter down your drain. Because we switched it to the bathtub, we also had to make sure the dogs couldn't get into it anymore. And obviously our dogs can easily get in here and get to the kitty litter box. So we ended up getting a covered kitty litter box so the cat can come and go as he wants, but the dogs can't get in there. One of our biggest hesitations to not originally wanting it in the shower is we didn't want it to be a pain in the butt every time we wanted a shower. We never enjoyed storing a lot of stuff inside the shower because when we want a shower, we just want to be able to jump in and go. But it's pretty easy, especially having the one with the cover on it. All we have to do is grab this handle real quick and we just move it over here and it sits on the toilet while we take our shower. So that's real easy to do. And then when we're done showering, we just pick it back up and set it back down. All right, so that's all we have for you guys for today. If you like this video, definitely give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, we really appreciate it if you could subscribe to this channel. And if you want to receive notifications when we do put out more videos, hit the little notification bell. Thank you for watching today.